guys. I love this transitional time of the year where everything just transforms. Everything takes on a new texture and a new smell. Things get quieter. There's a stillness that autumn truly does welcome us all to. So in today's day in the life, you are going to see the boys and I be productive and get our goals done while also being attentive to what the season is asking of us. You're going to see us slow down. You're going to see us cozy up and you're going to see us enjoy the day. I hope you enjoy this day in the life. So what you didn't see is you didn't see my morning routine, you didn't see my time with the Lord, um, and I like that. That's a very special time for me, so I'm not going to share that, but what you're about to see is us truly get into our day. We start our homeschool at 9 a.m. with a little thing called morning pages, and this is a habit that I have put into place this year. And when I tell you it is an anchor for us and it gets us started on the right foot, it gets us talking and learning and being productive as soon as 9 a.m. hits, and I love that. It's taken me five years of my homeschool journey to realize that I value nature and natural learning and being outside and not putting kids in a box, but I also value getting our work done and building scholars, building children who do value education and learning and learning how to critically think. So this year, we're focused on all of it. We're focused on exploring and field trips as much as we are sitting down and being disciplined and getting the work done. It's important to understand what motivates your learners. And for me this year, even with my learner who is educating outside of the home, we're really big on what motivates you. Something that motivates the boys is stickers and grades and them being able to see their process and get rewarded for the hard work they're putting into. So with the morning pages, I grade them, I give them stickers and they truly love them and it motivates them and gets their brain going for the rest of the day. We really are enjoying this habit. I highly suggest putting something in place that's like this um, if it fits the season you're in. That's another huge thing with not only home educating, but with living, you really have to take inventory of your season, of what the Lord is asking you to do with your family. And that's going to look different for everybody. And that's okay. Trust in the Lord and trust that you hear from the Lord to do what you need to do for your family. What? boys are pretty solid when it comes to math so for them this year we're really putting an emphasis on literature reading comprehension and writing and they're doing such a good job Teo is using all about reading level one and he's at the beginning stages of reading Titus is using brave writer along with my homemade highlights reading comprehension curriculum and both of them are increasing and growing at an insane speed. I'm really amazed at how well they've taken to this school year and honestly how well I'm doing this school year. This year has really reminded me that there's time for everything. So during those hard seasons where you can't homeschool as hard or as well as you would like, it's not wasted. I truly believe in that. There's a time for everything and there's a season for everything. And I think that we're our worst enemies when we 
get so angry at ourselves for not performing how we performed in past seasons. Or we're like, wow, I'm doing so great in this season. Why couldn't I have done this last season? And it's because that season didn't call for that. I think the greatest thing that we can give our children and ourselves is a sense of you can adapt. Life will change, but you are capable. And all you really have to do is lean on the Lord through every season, through every wave, through every ride. this time that you're seeing now is after our reading and writing lessons the boys are to go on the couch and independently read while I prep for lunch and I join them on reading too so lunch this day was yummy leftover kale soup with some toast and jam and then after lunch Teo had virtual speech therapy and while he does that Titus and I sit on the couch together and do math and we love Math Mammoth. I cannot express that enough. So we're doing Math Mammoth. And then after one-on-one -on -one math with Titus is done, Teo's speech therapy ends. And that's when I do one-on-one -on -one speech with Teo while Titus does some computer math with either IXL or Math Mammoth. After that, Titus is done. For the day and Teo hops on the computer does some computer math and then our education sit down structured educational time is done for the day So this is the part where I get to take off my homeschool mama hat and I get to put on entrepreneur business owner hat, which is so fun. This truly is such a fun season for me as far as business goes and building up the womanhood and working on other projects and stepping into that like boldly for such a long time. I wanted to deny that that was part of the path that the Lord had me on because I feel completely incapable, right? But the Lord has shown me that stepping, that's the point. I am supposed to feel incapable because it's not about my capabilities. It truly is about how he plans on transforming me and other women through this. So this is my work hour. I get an hour to put in work and sometimes it's hard because the boys don't get electronics on this time. They are to play outside or play in their rooms or play in the house, but no electronics. So I get interrupted a lot, but that's okay. We just roll with it. Today's to-do list insists of a lot of uh, womanhood retreat items. So I'm getting, we have our retreat coming up the first weekend of November. I'm finalizing everything with that, making sure the caterers and uh, the hotel and everybody is good to go. 
And then I also have a special project coming out November 1st for non-womanhood members and womanhood ladies already know what it is. They got to know all the details October 1st, but I'm so excited. This project has been such a lovely opportunity to work with so many different women and women owned businesses and it's just been a joy to work on this project and I can't wait until you guys get your hands on it. Even though this adds so much to my load, I am so blessed to be able to work from home and be with my children while also chasing my passion. Hello ladies. Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave you here. I got almost everything done on my to-do list. I still have about four things that I need to get done. But within that hour, I was able to get one, two, three, four, five, five things done. And I still need one, two, three, four, five things done. I got halfway through the list. So the rest of this is gonna have to wait until post bedtime when the kids are down and I have another hour to give. Um, but right now, I am on my way to go pick up Journey. This has been a day in the life of how our homeschool is looking this year we hope you enjoyed it leave a comment down below let us know how your october is going uh, how your homeschool's going and we'll be back again next month with another day in the life bye guys